The material that I'm going to use for the body of this pattern is J-Fair Translucent Swimming Hackle. And I'm using a long. Uh, I like the long as opposed to the medium and small just because it allows me to trim it to whatever length that I want. It's important to note that when it comes out of the package, it has kind of a stringy appearance like this. And very simply, all I've done is similar to what Zach does. I think he prefers to use Velcro, but I've used a wire brush. And I've just worked over the material to fray it out as best that I can. Ultimately, you want to get it to a point where it has this nice kind of puffy frayed appearance to it. So we'll come in very simply. Attach the thread just right behind the eye of the hook here. We're just using brown marabou for the tail. And we want this fairly sparse. We don't need a huge clump of it. I want to gauge it out about the same length as the hook shank. We'll set that back. I'm just going to catch it at the front here. And we'll wrap over it as we go toward the rear. This stuff's nice and compressing. So we'll squish down. Take it back to about the bend in the hook there. Then I'm going to bring in the hackle. And you can see it kind of has a taper from my right to left anyways. So... I'm going to tie it in in that direction and catch it just by the, the front of the thread core there. Forms the material and just take that back to behind the eye of the hook. As I wrap this forward, I want to make sure that I lay down side by side wraps. Starting right there at the bend. And once I get that first wrap down, I'm just going to make sure that I run my fingers and pull those fibers back every time I take a wrap. If it gets a little trapped, it's all good. We can hit it with the wire brush right at the end but I do want to free up as much of that material as possible. Brush that back. Just wiggle the thread through there. Stick the nose of the bobbin right up in there. Take two or three wraps to lock it down and snip off the excess. So I'm going to catch the end of that. Create just a little bit of a thread head, nothing terribly significant. And before I tie that off, I'm just going to come in and take a look at it. I can hit this with the wire brush real quick just to kind of knock loose some of the fibers. And then I'm going to pull these straight up. And I'm going to pay attention to my hook gap here. I'm going to cut these just a little bit longer than my hook gap. And that's the width that I want to maintain across that body. So what that's going to do is when that gets in the water and it pulses and opens up, it's going to have a nice uh, uniform width to it. It's going to be a lot more accurate in imitation uh, to the width of a typical leech swimming through the water. Once I have that taken care of, I'm just going to come in and whip finish it. And snip that off. Since I'm a little bit of a durability nut, I'm going to come in just with the touch of Zappa Gap on each side of that head.